Hi. Now, imagine you have a friend who lives in Paris. Mm -hmm. He wants to quit his job and make a living out of a gas station, right? Okay. Um, he's got no experience at all with, the, with this business and wants to know from you what, is, what the size of uh, gas stations in Paris, of what the size of the market is. So um, he would like you to, to think of two ways of estimating it. How could you help him? Okay. Um, well, uh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, okay, now just to make sure I understood the, the question. Um, we're looking uh, for the market size of a gas station in Paris and Paris only. And additionally, we need two approaches, correct? Correct, yeah. Okay, and what number uh, regarding market size are we looking for exactly? A specific volume in euro, let's say for the revenue of gas stations or something else? Good question. Well, let's think of just the number of gas stations because, well, we could uh, kind of calculate the, the amount of euros with the number of gas stations. But let's simplify it and just find, find how many gas stations there are in Paris. Okay. He wants to know if there's a lot already. He wants to have an idea of how big the market is. Okay, great. So, so no monetary value right now. Okay, great. Then uh, I'd like to have a minute or two in order to broadly think of two strategies. Mm -hmm. And well, afterwards, I'd like to start with the most promising one and develop it uh, in more detail, okay? Sounds good, yeah. Okay, um, well, overall I think we could solve the question uh, by estimating the market size either from the supply side or the demand side. Um, so mm -hmm. what is that? Well, the calculation based on the supply side is, uh, I think, more straightforward and is deductible from the regular distribution of uh, gas stations in cities. Mm -hmm. So, for example, we say there's uh, one gas station per square kilometer and then we just have to estimate the size of Paris and from those two numbers we can uh, estimate the overall number of stations. Yeah. But uh, then the demand side solution uh, is yeah, basically based on the demand of gas in Paris. So, and mm -hmm. this is uh, proportional to the amount of vehicles and let's say the vehicles are also directly related to the population in Paris. So that is mm -hmm. what we need. And then we could look at the uh, capacity of each gas station. And then we are able through these two numbers to determine how much gas stations we need uh, to fulfill this demand of Paris. So you want to divide the, the, um, the demand of the whole city by the demand fulfilled by one gas station. Is that what I understand? Yes, exactly. Interesting. So. Both ways, I think, are reasonable. Which one, the demand side or the supply side, would you like to, mm -hmm. to start with? Mm. And why? I think uh, I'd prefer the second solution because I think it's more realistic to build gas stations based on demand, simple as that. Mm -hmm. And additionally, the first solution is not as precise because the population density may vary greatly among different quarters of Paris so we'd have to uh, take that into amount, and I think this is way more difficult. So, would you agree? Uh, yeah, I, I would think like the demand way of calculating, calculating it makes more sense. So, I, I agree with you. Okay, great. Well, then uh, right. I'd go on with the second step of my solution sure. and start developing a more detailed structure for further calculations. Mm -hmm. um, so, how would you do that? Mm -hmm. Well, just think for a second. Um, what I was already uh, outlined in the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, the calculation is for me divided into big two, two big main branches. Mm -hmm. uh, in the first one, we need to estimate uh, the overall demand. And in the second one, uh, the capacity which can be satisfied by uh, one gas station. Okay. So first, um, the demand. And you divide those two, and that's the, the amount of. Exactly, then we have. We have the amount of gas stations in Paris. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. So first, um, the demand of Paris, and as I said as well, I think this mostly depends on vehicles that are in Paris because yeah, I assume that these are the only uh, 
the only customers uh, who, who buy at gas stations. Mm -hmm. So I, I want to calculate that. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I have to multiply it with well, the average fuel need of a vehicle. And then we've got, um, we've, we've got a, an amount in, in liters, let's say. That the whole city uh, consumes. Yes. Okay. And uh, in order to estimate the amount of vehicles, I'd use the population as basis and try to figure out, okay, how, how much percent of the population uh, has a vehicle. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, then the, the second branch, um, which uh, gives us the capacity of each gas station. Mm -hmm. um, well, I think, mm, let me think about that. Take your time. Um, well, a th simple approach would be to look um, on the one side um, at the, the number of vehicles that visit a station, mm -hmm. and then again the amount uh, of, of gas um, is bought by each owner. And uh, mm -hmm. then w again we have to, to kind of get deeper into the, the amount of vehicles, and um, so how many vehicles can pass through a station and I think um, a fair estimation would be to look at the amount of pumps mm -hmm. at each, each station and then um, well look at, at how many cars can, can be provided by one pump. Um, yeah. Okay, so would you do that in a yearly, daily basis, month basis? Uh, what's the time? Oh, ah, okay. Basically? Yeah, I, I see what you're getting at. Um, well, I mean, for for simplicity, I would start with with a daily basis, because this way we can keep the numbers small. And I mean, I think it's still quite easy then to to go up further and and do it on a monthly monthly or yearly basis. We just have to well, multiply it with thirty and then twelve, and uh, and you see, then we're getting big numbers, and we can avoid this if we start with the day. Mm -hmm. Okay, doesn't really make, make a difference because final number of gas stations should be the same regardless of the of the time frame. Yeah, in the end, it cancels out. Exactly. Okay, so how would you get these numbers? So you said you needed a number of cars, number mm -hmm. of pumps per station. How many cars are served for by a pump? How many cars per pump? So how 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 do you tackle this, how would you estimate those numbers? Yeah, um, well, as you said, I mean, I, I don't really know, I'm, I'm not really into that. I, I don't know anything about the, the, the um, um, right now, amount about the amount of, of cars in the city or something like that. So, I mean, I, I basically have to estimate it. And uh, exactly. as you said, um, I, I'm just going, going, going through each of the steps. Mm -hmm. um, and well, I think the, the, the first, the basis we have was the population. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing I would start with, um, the population of Paris. And an interesting question for that is, um, so what, how big is Paris? I mean, are we talking about the greater area with, with all the, the, the smaller satellite so cities around it or just the inner city? We, we're talking about the inner city. So okay. just Paris. Consider there's like 10 million people. Okay, yes. great. Okay, then to so make it rounder. Okay. okay, then we can start off with that and uh, now go on with the question okay, how many of these people do have cars? And um, if I'm thinking about Paris, um, well, it's, it's a de developed city with a very good public transportation. Mm -hmm. And of course, on the other side, it's also very costly, high living costs, limited parking space. So I don't think it's very attractive to have a car, and um, yeah, so I don't think many people have cars. And additionally, we have to deduct, of course, all people that are under 18, and let's say people that are over 80, because they mm -hmm. don't so drive cars normal. anymore. Okay. So um, um, I'd guess, and this is also a little bit from some of my experience, what people I know around me, if they cars or don't, I would say I guess every fifth person uh, owns a car. So that's fine. Yeah, so I mean that would fine. give us two million uh, pri uh, private cars, and that's another 
um, thing we have to keep in mind. I mean, we're just talking about cars right now. Correct. And yeah. I mean, there are other ways of transportation that need need gas. So this is, um, yeah, I mean, for example, motorbikes. Um, do we have to keep that in mind or? Uh, let's just think of cars. Okay, okay. Only cars, this is well, a problem. This is one, one side and the, the, the private cars, but then of course, we also have cars that are not privately owned, but owned by companies. Correct. So, um, yeah, let's let's talk. Let's say commercial cars, and well, also small trucks and whatever is needed to transport uh, things around. And um, okay. well, as we are not as many okay, uh, yeah. companies car company cars as there are private cars, right? Yes, definitely. And I mean. Uh, an estimation I would do here at this point is uh, about a quarter seems fair, so uh, let's say half a million. And so overall, we, we would have two, 2.5 million vehicles. Okay, so go on. Okay, well, now that we have the number uh, of cars, we need the consumption per car. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I would assume that an average car needs about four liters per day. Four liters? Mm -hmm. uh, why well, it's raining now? Um, four meters. So you just calculated it, right? Yeah, I mean it's it's based on on well, let's say an average car needs ten liters per one hundred kilometer as consumption, and then we I assume that half of the people that have a car drive to work every day, mm -hmm. and let's say that's seventy kilometers, mm -hmm. and that would lead us to seven liters consumption, mm -hmm. and then we have the other half of users that drive irregularly just maybe to purchase groceries mm -hmm. once in a while and let's say they, they drive they uh, on average 10 kilometers mm -hmm. and that leads us to one liter consumption so combining both uh, we have an overall average of four liters average, okay okay let's to simplify let's think of five liters then mm -hmm. okay All right great and i mean the same estimation has to be made for commercial cars and i would expect this to be more because um, they use longer routes and they uh, are used the entire day. Mm -hmm. Additionally, um, their consumption per 100 kilometers is also bigger because uh, small trucks are included and it was not more. So. Okay, let, let's just simplify, think that's five times bigger or higher. Mm -hmm. So 25 liters per commercial vehicle. Okay, 25. Yeah. So what's the total overall consumption? Yes. Okay. Um, well, we know the the commercial cars with twenty five liters per car, and uh, we have uh, zero point five million cars, so that gives us uh, twelve point five million liters. And on the other side, with the private cars, so sorry, how many cars? Zero point zero point five. Okay. And uh, that's what we estimated in the beginning, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Times and 25 liters, right? Yes, exactly. And the, the private cars we estimated were 2 million cars. And then uh, what you said, 5 liters consumption gives mm -hmm. us an, addition, an additional 10 million liters. So mm -hmm. 10 plus 12.5 uh, million liters equals 22.5 million. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we have to do damage. Exactly. So to sum up, the overall demand of Paris is 22.5 million liters of gas. And now this gas needs to be supplied by the gas stations. So that's what I'm calculating next. That's the second big branch I had. Okay. And um, okay. well, first um, we start at the, at the bottom again, and um, we need the amount of pumps per station. And from my experience and just having a picture in my mind of a typical gas station, mm -hmm. there are about um, eight uh, pumps at every station. So, yeah, and then let's say, okay, it takes a, a, about a quarter of an hour to get to get the, the car full with gas, so get out, fill the car up and pay. Mm -hmm. um, well, this leads us two to four cars per hour that can be supplied on average. Mm -hmm. Of course, I mean, there are peak times and low times, mm -hmm. and I'm just assuming that. And okay. I'm also assuming now that uh, stations are open for 10 hours. And I think this is reasonable because if we, for example, have a station that is uh, 
is a, is a 24 seven gas station that is open all night. I'm just assuming that these are neglectable because there's not much of, of customers, not many of customers. Mm -hmm. So on average, yeah, sounds, sounds okay. okay. So now that we have, I mean, uh, we have, uh, we have four cars per pump per hour and 10 hours open. So we have 40 cars per pump uh, every day. And now at each gas station are eight. So overall we have eight times 40 and this is uh, uh, 320 cars per gas station. Okay, so if we had 10 pumps, to make it easier, how many? Yeah, then we had cars. Would we supply with one gas station? Then we had four hundred cars. I mean, just ten times forty. Okay. Okay. So use use that number. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, oh. probably easier to calculate with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, and now we have to to find out how much uh, a car needs. Per visit, how much how much gas is, is bought, mm -hmm. and um, can you tell me something about that? Well, let's say well, you know how many liters that a car buys per visit. I I think that you can think of commercial cars buying 100 liters because there's some trucks, mm -hmm. so um, it could be 100, and every car they usually fill up the, their tanks, right? So let's say okay. 50 liters. Okay. Um, well, I'm what I I'm doing now is calculating and um, yeah, some kind of weighted average of consumption, and we know that about one fifth of all cars um, are commercial cars mm -hmm. that uh, buy one hundred liter, and the rest uh, with private cars buys fifty. So we have one hundred times one fifth plus fifty times four fifth. Uh, well, and uh, this is 60 liters. Okay, so that's the average number of liters a car buys. Yes. I mean, these are all average numbers. Sure, so um, average meaning commercial and uh, private. Of course, as there's always some deviation. And um, Okay, right. Now we're able to, to uh, calculate uh, the, the capacity of a gas station. And we have 400 cars. And uh, we know that each car buys on average 60 liters. Mm -hmm. So, calculate this out. This gives us um, twenty-four thousand liters. So okay, so that's sixty times um, four hundred. Exactly. All right. So, well, that's the solution for the second big branch we had. Um, well, so there's only one final uh, calculation to do um, to answer the case's question, and okay. this is. Um, the, the amount of uh, gas stations we have. Mm -hmm. And well, we know that uh, there's Paris needs 22.5 million liters and mm -hmm. uh, each station provides 24,000 liters. So, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's just say roughly about 900 gas stations. It's a bit more, but um, yeah, mm -hmm. this is, uh, the amount of gas station needed to supply Paris, and thus this is uh, well the market size we have. And well, right. as next step, I mean, in order to validate this number, we could start with uh, the second approach, which uh, our client or our friend wanted, and yeah. estimated from the supply side and compare the numbers if they're similar. Okay, the, I think we have a good number, so nine hundred pumps. Uh, Gas stations is a good number, it's more or less okay. what I research. Great. Thank you.